Recording? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. So I'm thinking a lot about the, the really weird YouTube videos. We were talking about this earlier, mm -hmm. about like all the weird YouTube videos that are up online that you can just see weird shit. And mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> one that's always stuck with me was there's this guy and for like seven hours a day, he just, he sits in like an empty room with a camera on him and smiles at the camera for like seven hours. And it's like unwavering. I mean, it's it, and he loads them all up. They're all up on YouTube. But there was one that was like really showed exactly how like, committed he is to this like he's a totally normal guy he comes home and it's like his way of meditating but he does it all day there's like just a few candles on the floor and it's just him like sitting on his knees and smiling at the camera like two big old toothy grins well one of the episodes and this it's like totally confirmed to be real the guy like talked in detail about it somebody tries to rob his house in the middle of it so like it's him and he's smiling and then the, it's an apartment actually not a house but and he's in like the front room so the door opens and the guy like comes in because he's he's like you can hear him like fucking with the lock and he gets the lock open and he comes in and he stops and he stares at the guy because he and the guy is like his back is to him so behind him behind there's the camera and the guy's staring at the camera and behind the guy is the door and the guy comes in and he stares at him for a while and like gets really freaked out and leaves like just bolts and the guy who's smiling at the camera does not doesn't even look away you don't even see his eyes move. Like, he's in a trance, and he just doesn't even notice the guy, doesn't care, and he only found it going back and looking at the footage, which begs the question why he's looking at seven hours of footage of just himself, but super crazy. I just, I can't imagine that situation. Fuck. Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be, okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Man. I feel like maybe he's not all there. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't think you can be if you're doing something like that, but... How did he not... So he didn't know it happened no. when it happened? That's right. How do you not hear, like... Because he's in, like, a trance. What the fuck? Does he break his smile at all? No. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> look like he knows that anybody's there. And the guy's, like, just sees a dude through the camera. <laughs> like, so I would imagine you thinking, like, I'm getting cut up. Like, it's over. Yeah. Like, it's like a don't... What, um, the fuck? what was it? Don't blank or don't breathe. What was the name of the where they, they try to rob the blind guy? Yeah, don't breathe. Don't yeah. breathe. Like I like the idea of those stories where somebody who, like nasty or terrible ends up in an even worse situation. Yeah. But it begs the question like what these people were doing without cameras. Like, do you think they were still doing that stuff? Oh, like just sitting there in a, in his room. Like, yeah. <clears throat> probably. It's so weird. It, it may um, tangentially related. There's a I take a really weird backwards path um, to to lunch every day. And every single day, there's a four-way stop, and there's, like, a drain, a sewer drain. And you know how the, with sewer drains, they typically, a lot of times, they'll have, like, a, the big flat piece of concrete that's above the drain. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lady there with, like, she's really old, but she's got dreadlocks. And she's always sitting on that that plat of, of, of concrete, eating, like, her lunch. Yeah. But, just like, like bags scre of screaming at traffic, though. Yeah. Like, totally batty. Mm -hmm. And she's just picked this really weird intersection to sit at. It's like a daily thing. I've seen, I've driven by her and seen her multiple times. Do you know her? You behind know her? the Walmart? Yeah. yeah. That's weird. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Because that's whenever I have to go from my store and get stuff from Walmart, uh -huh. that's the path that I take. So I always drive her. So by. you know exactly who you're talking yep. about. She yeah. She just has like all of her hair is like in a big um, like net, but it's all like dreadlocks that are just like smashed together. Yeah. So it looks like a giant mat. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a liver, like it looked <clears throat> like the liver. Yeah, it's and she just eats McDonald's and it's, yells at people. Yeah, and just, she just sits on the corner with like a what pile you, what of trash. What did she say? That she, is like it's just incoherent. Or, yeah, okay. I've just seen her like she tries to talk at the, the traffic. I mean, it, my my windows always rolled up. In uh, in Jacksonville, North Carolina, where I was stationed, there was a guy. They call him the Jacksonville Ninja. He is a like a super ripped up black guy who's short. He looked like a Bruce Lee, right? Uh -huh. And he would stand on the street corner and practice kung fu and like tai chi and stuff like that. And people would honk and he'd stop and put his thumbs up and wave at you and then go right back into like mm -hmm. doing the forms and stuff. It's it's kind, of, awesome. kind of like you can Google him and you'll see him, man. It's it's hilarious. Crazy Mike or Moped Mike? Yeah, Crazy yeah. Mike. Yeah. I always knew him as Moped Mike. That was what Derby called him. Mm -hmm. But do you know do you know about Crazy Mike Moped mm -hmm. Mike? Yeah. So he's a <clears throat> he's a really rich man whose parents had a ton of money and died, left it all for him, but he just got so fucked up on drugs that he's, like, completely mentally unstable. <clears throat> and he just goes around Wichita and visits the same places, like, every day or every week 
and he like just he's stuck in a loop <clears throat> or something. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. It's like a haunting. So if if you're really nice to him and like you don't you aren't mean to him or you know make him feel uncomfortable, and he comes to your restaurant, he'll like eat there every single week. But he always has like headphones on and usually sunglasses inside, and then he's just like. He wears like a windbreaker. Really like a incoherent. There was, a, there was a guy when I... This when is I, in Wichita, by the way. Yeah, when yeah. I first moved here to Wichita, uh, the North Rock Walmart, mm-hmm. I went there and I saw that I was with a guy that I was going to school with and this dude walked into the store and he had headphones on, he was wearing a hoodie. He was walking really fast and he was like talking to himself <clears> and he goes, oh, that's crazy so-and-so, like crazy that's James that's, or something no, like that. That is him. That's him? He, uh, yeah. He, his parents lived in Bel Air, so... Okay. He lives in the house in Bel Air, yeah, and I would see him. Yeah, 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 exactly. And he I would, would talk to people like just randomly, ones. but then he would just, like move on. I haven't yeah. seen him in a long time. Though. I haven't seen him since 2010. It's probably been about that long as well. <clears throat> it was 2006 last time. It was the first time I saw him last time. I wonder yeah. if he's there was a Facebook page that was Where's Crazy Mike, and oh, people shit. would like post like his most recent outings oh, and man. stuff. He was a was he was a local celebrity that just yeah. is fucking insane. Did he die? <clears throat> anyway. Welcome to this week's episode of Hypothetically Speaking. I'm Tyler Malter. With me as always... John Reed. And... Crazy Sean. Crazy Sean. <laughs> um, this week we have decided to go back in time uh, and talk mm-hmm. about a dead media, which mm-hmm. is magazines. Mm-hmm. So everyone's favorite topic, magazines. They're dead, Sean. I know you like them. I thought we were talking about a... You just said dead media. I thought we were talking about the... Uh, the, the internet? Hit, no, the hit Hasbro <laughs> creation chip hits from the 90s where you had one minute versions of, of hit songs that you would put in a tiny oh, little yeah, box. Oh, yeah, I remember those. You could, and they had ones with the toothbrush. Yeah. And yeah, I had I had a Pop by NSYNC. Oh. I heard of Pop. I had hit that me was baby. a good one. Hit me baby one more time. <clears throat> I happened to, I happened to, um, to look into chip hits the other day. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't so, you know how the internet can be. Sure. And there's a really huge community that collects them. And... And they go for it. They can go for a pretty penny. The fuck people are. buying like Stop. one minute versions <clears throat> of songs from the late nineties, early two thousands. That's awesome. right. Um, so, aside from talking about chip hits, we're talking about magazines this week. Um, John, you posed the question: mm-hmm. if you could be on one magazine, mm-hmm. what would it be? Yeah. And, and what would it be for? Yeah, yeah. And and we figured it would be more fun to. Name ourselves mm-hmm. on the cover of a magazine, mm-hmm. and then also name everyone else mm-hmm. on the cover of a magazine. Mm-hmm. So, do you want to start, or do you want? Do you think Sean should go? You first? know, I think I messed up my own question because I forgot to pick one for myself. Oh no! Okay, okay. but so I think you're gonna go. But first. I picked one for each of you. You're gonna go first then. So, well, get um, on it. Okay, um, figure it out. You know, um, Ten seconds. So I'm gonna be on the cover of People magazine for Sexiest Man Alive. Okay. Wow. Uh, Should have seen that one coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about what I would be. On. I, I I literally only thought about your guys's. Um, <laughs> how does this happen? Let's run this. I I don't know. <laughs> how are we so bad at? I don't know. I don't know how I <laughs> fucked that up. It was my question too. We have like one thing that we do with this show, and it's like think of answers to a dumb question. And every week, consistently, we <laughs> fuck that up. Uh, okay. Yeah. Someone else should probably go first. Sean it is. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with you two. Okay. So I, took, I spent a lot of time falling down the rabbit hole of what <clears throat> publications actually exist. Yeah, it's amazing. Because I immediately thought that I was going to fabricate one, but mm-hmm. the truth is stranger than the fiction. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, I ran into a whole bunch of them, but uh, the first one, I, f- I feel like we could spend quite a bit of time just talking about this magazine. Uh, this is the uh, this is the November cover of Girls and Corpses magazine. <laughs> I I have had the unfortunate pleasure of having read Girls and, Girls Corpses. and Corpses magazine. You know what was crazy about <clears throat> Girls and Corpses magazine? It's it's a quasi comedy, but like nudie magazine, mm-hmm. um, sort of targeting the like metal goth crowd. I hate to to stereotype, but it seems like the music and uh, the mm-hmm. themes and stuff they pick is in that sort of genre. What's <clears> really <throat> kind of creepy though is that they a lot of the covers they get um it's mad magazine style like fiction and a lot of times when they like get celebrities on, like they'll talk about stuff that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But I saw an alarming amount of covers because I started scrolling through all the covers. I saw an alarming amount of covers where it depicted whatever the celebrity that was dead on the cover has died since then. Like since they've been on the cover. Like they had like a George Romero one and he was dead. 
and they had um, Hugh Hefner, and he was dead. So, like, I'm, I'm wondering if Girls and Corpses magazine is, like, the kiss of death for, for celebrities that would be on there. But um, I did notice there was a lack of the eye-catching, which I, I can't imagine newsstands would have this one just sort of front See, and center. and this was... I, I know this magazine because I worked at Prairie Dog Comics. Did you get and, it in? Yeah, we had a subscriber who got it every month. Girls and Corpses. And we it didn't go to the floor, obviously. It went to the back yeah. and waited for him to come in. His creepy-ass obsessions and... He buy shit like that, and yeah, it's just like half naked chicks on the cover with like skulls and pot leaf everywhere. Yeah, or, or like a, dead, famous, a poorly photoshopped dead person. Yep, famous dead people is awful. Um, I did notice though <clears throat> that if it were on the newsstands, it was missing the the most eye catching feature that that usually I think tends to bring people in, and that's those top ten lists. Mm, right, they never has them so. Uh, luckily, John came to the rescue on this one. <clears throat> uh oh, and John has Thank ten you, exciting John. new ways to use a baby corpse. Oh man! I really just thought <laughs> baby <laughs> grenades and all. That's right. Oh, I just I feel like like infantile death has has been a, a long running thing with John, sure, yeah. and I thought for Girls and Corpses magazine he would really bring that um, that Sex in the City vibe. Mm, so. yeah. you're the Samantha of baby corpses, John. That's right. How does that make you feel? That feels pretty good, Bob. <laughs> so it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, Tyler got a got a pretty <clears throat> interesting one, although it's it's kind of somber. And I, I'm, I feel oh, bad. More about somber it. than Girls and Corpses. Yes, yes. This okay. is Poultry World magazine oh, uh, for all your poultry needs. Yeah, yeah. And you, they broke a new story. Uh, this was man locks himself in a Chick Fil A so that he, he can eat there on Sunday, but oh. doesn't know how to cook and starves to death. Oh no! So I figure, I figure you. <laughs> that is the most realistic <laughs> <laughs> magazine I could ever be a part of. <laughs> like. I, I, if you if you don't know Tyler well enough to know his Chick Fil A obsession, absolutely huge Chick Fil A fan. But you're always disappointed when you lost some Chick Fil A. On I wanted it this morning. I couldn't have it. So I imagine this world where like you've gotten excited about your plan, so mm. you've like starved yourself because you can't die. I'm, I'm gonna eat all the Chick Fil A I can handle <laughs> for a right. full day. But you, I don't need to eat for a week. Uh huh. And it's not <clears> even <throat> necessarily just not knowing how to cook the food, but they 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 probably bring the food in regularly, sure, but they yeah. wouldn't deliver on a Sunday. It definitely tastes fresh, right? So it's a yeah. It's all locked up, and, and you just can't get to it. It's a pretty pretty big problem, but that was a Poultry World magazine big deal there, because yep. I imagine Poultry World was, at its time, probably heavily funded by Chick-fil-A. Chick -fil yeah. <laughs> KFC and Chick-fil-A conglomerate. So, uh, for myself, though, for myself, I kind of figured that I would I'd change the roadmap. Mm -hmm. um, I would give the, the title of the magazine, and I would give the headline... And sort of just let everything else piece itself together. And sure. I'm hoping that it ends in my favor. Right. Um, so I looked at the uh, November cover of Twins Magazine. Oh my. And the headline was, Man found in Wichita, Kansas to be Samuel L. Jackson's long-lost twin brother. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you're white. Yes. You're 40 years younger than him. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, your acting skills, I'm sorry to say, are nowhere near. Nowhere near, Samuel. Yeah. But I feel like if if this story were to have, would have to be true... Uh, it's on the cover of a magazine. Right? So I've got to... Like, it's I mean, it's going to end well. Either There's a lot of different ways this could end. So first of all, this could go in favor of Samuel, and he could be 40 years younger. Uh -huh, right. So that means that we get to be blessed with his talented <clears throat> acting for that much longer. Thank God. Super great. Mm -hmm. um, I get to join the, the ethnic community. Sure. That would be cool. You like, are part of the NAACP. That's right. I would be down for that. Um, I, I like that. Uh, I could be uh, potentially in an opportunity for some wealth here in the future. Uh huh. So because I, I know he's like one of the most paid, highest yeah, paid actors in sure. Hollywood. Sure. Next of kin. Yeah. Right. So line it up for that one. Wow. Uh, and of course, uh, like, how did I get to Wichita, Kansas? Like, that's got to be a dang good story. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know where I went. No one knows. Does he remember that you guys were twins? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we were separated at birth. Yeah. So. So he's got his whole life wishing he had, like, having this hole in his heart he was wishing could be filled. And he never had it filled until... That's right. Well, and it also explains, and I'm sure he would attest to this, but <clears throat> it explains that, that t twin connection. <clears throat> because we've both, there's been a lot of times where I've, like, something's probably happened to him or happened to me. Yeah. And we've influenced each other's decisions. You stub your toe, his toe starts hurting. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm thinking, like, uh, just, you know... Like, I, I went through a jerry curl phase. Oh. So, like... That's probably why. He got a perm, and I was like, sperm time. Yeah. So, I just... You I, said per sperm time. I did? 
It's, it's perm time. 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 <laughs> well, and, and that would be what would had to have happened for us to be twins. So just a just a great great story there. I thought. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, Twins Magazine. Twins Magazine. Congratulations, Sean. That's thank awesome. you. Thank you. And I'm on the cover of a magazine. I forgot to mention. Yeah, that that's part. pretty neat. That's a win in itself. John, what you got, man? I'm scrolling through magazines. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with what I have for you guys, and hopefully, I come up with one for me <coughs> again. Uh, <clears throat> Sean, you're gonna go on the cover of O, the Oprah magazine. Very good. For Game Show Host of the Year. Oh. And you'll for, be a, for a previous episode of Hypothetically Speaking. Absolutely, and you'll be wow. in a turtleneck, and it'll be a fashion trend. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. That's, that's man. gonna be you. You'll be holding like a little mic, and there'll be like tons of points. Like the really the long, mic. ugly mics that yeah. they used to have on like. You know how like but they uh, still have they on still have. on uh, on the one with Drew Carey. Yes, uh, Price, Price is right. right. Jesus. Yes. Instead of like a gator or like the Ralph Lauren logo, it'll be a Jesus fish. And in the other hand, you'll have the hand. Kroger Cell Country hand. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff so that's wow. yours. I'm gonna put these episodes up in reverse order. Do it <laughs> just to fuck this whole. Well, it'll it'll know it'll be a tease. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, yesterday Carly mentioned that you are boycotting any video game that has a microtransaction in it, and right away yeah. I knew what you'd be on. Have you ever seen the painting? Uh, it's the French painting of uh, Napoleon. He's on the horse. It's called Napoleon Crosses the Alps. Uh-huh. Yeah. The horse is kicking up. He's like pointing, <clears throat> yeah. capes and billowing. It'd be you mm-hmm. on the horse, and it'd be on the cover of um, Game Informer, pick popular game mm-hmm. magazine, mm-hmm. right? Because you're only on the best. Sure. And it would it would say no. It'd be Time Magazine. Person. Can, no, no, not quite. Oh. It'd be uh, World War Three local. Store owner wages war against microtransactions. That's oh, pretty that's good because really I feel like this is a uh, this is a, a new thing. Uh-huh. Like I feel like you're gonna start. Like I'm, we're gonna be your generals, right? And I'm gonna be the one that betrays you. Sure. And like and, and pretty much promotes, promotes yeah, and yeah, and promotes whaling. <clears throat> and I'm the guy. I'm actually the CEO of EA, uh-huh. so yeah. I'm on the cover Congrats. of. You just found a way to <laughs> of Forbes <laughs> yeah. magazine, uh-huh. thirty under thirty. As like the CEO of EA, uh-huh. I'm the guy who's actually promoting wow. microtransactions. That's that would be my picture. That's pretty good. Do you yeah. know what the twist was? Because I got this article, this magazine, and, and it wasn't the article wasn't in there. You actually had to go online and purchase the article additional. Yeah, it was additional digital purchase. Yeah, three extra dollars, but you get you get tons of content. But it was like, the absolutely. article, multiple about pictures. The articles it was awesome. Right, the, so. the big thing is that I wear a monocle uh-huh. on the cover. That's how you don't know my true identity. Oh. oh. I just switch which side the monocle goes on. That's good. Okay. Totally it's, not, yeah. it's not like I don't recognize you with a monocle. I yeah. think it's on the wrong side. Yeah, absolutely. That can't be John. Can't yeah. be John. It's got to be Samuel Jackson's twin brother. <laughs> John. Yeah. That's that's my lame response to that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's, good. that's not bad. Um, <clears throat> I obviously had to do the same thing you guys did. Um, and I, starting with myself, I was like, what what could I put myself on? That would be really awesome and never in my lifetime happen. And, you know, first thing I thought was, like, people's man of the year, you know. Like, thought that would be pretty You'll sweet. You'll never be the man of the year. Never be man of the year. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Look at it. He peeked at his laptop. <laughs> I did. What um, was that? Don't look at it. <laughs> so, um, the, my choice is Lego Club Magazine. Oh. The official Lego magazine. Dude, I remember and being a part of that. <clears throat> The Lego yeah. Club. You do the little puzzle and like mail it in. And they give you points. You can turn the points in for like m- miniature Lego sets. Yeah, that's so, awesome. the day. so yeah. I would be on the cover of Lego Club magazine as CEO of Lego, and it just says you know like meet the new man in charge, and then it's just me and piles of Legos, and I get unlimited Legos the rest of my what life. What if it's you as a Lego character, a figure, a Lego, a Lego yeah. version of me? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's even good. better. Yeah, thank so you. To get the position, you, you just to... got CCO, Chief Creative Officer. There oh. we go. Yeah. <laughs> to, to get the position, you have to walk barefoot across the sea of Lego. Yeah, yeah, Sean, you just turned yourself janitor. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Taking your hand back. So uh, that would be what I pick. And while I'm like, you know, the number one CEO of Lego, yeah. uh, I would, I would have Sean. On um, Unemployed Magazine. Oh, oh Jesus. No. <laughs> Front cover. <laughs> and it just says how far they fall. That's um, so good. 
And Sean is on the cover of Unemployed Magazine. It'll be it'll actually be a recreation of your O cover, but all the points have negatives in front of them. Oh, like that's you just awesome! Went, the, yeah. And the ham is just the bone, mm. and the mic is upside down. I figure you just see part of my hair and my hand reaching out and hitting the snooze button because I don't, <laughs> I don't wake up. Yep, not wake good. up anymore. Uh, and then John spoiled his own, but it's um, <laughs> it's Serial Killer Magazine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. John is on the cover of Serial Killer Magazine. Yeah. Um, they're great. Single-handedly murders his two podcast co-hosts. Oh, so that's good. All other DC haters out there. So <laughs> it goes. It, it's uh, it's keeping in character with my uh, my secret identity and your baby fetish. <laughs> Turned you into a murderer on the show. Yeah. yeah. You definitely made out the worst on this one. You made a I'm Patrick, Patrick I'm, Bateman situation. I'm a new new age uh, fucking Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> But you're dead. Which makes sense because I'm short. You're dead in the Chick Fil A. <clears throat> yeah, and then I die in a Chick Fil A, which is kind of my dream. Sure. Yeah, and John's just a serial killer who'll teach you new things. On about the top babies. of the mountains, throwing down baby faces. <clears throat> I think like I'm the smartest. Did you? You got unemployed. Yeah, but I don't need money. I'm bankrolled <clears throat> by Samuel. Oh yeah. By the Jackson Foundation. No, so just you can just on go Samuel Jackson's couch. <laughs> <laughs> you could go panhandle outside of Walmart in Austin, Texas, right? That's where it was. Three hundred. There you go. Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Three hundred bucks. Yeah, that's pretty I good. Day. But uh, yeah, no, I, I've, I'm okay with mine. Okay. okay. Well, good. if we're all okay with where we end up, right, John? We're all okay with what yeah, happened here? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no objections yeah. at all? Sexiest serial killer. Just as long as they get my good side in the photo. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll right. stab them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think that's going to do it for, the, for this week's episode, hypothetically speaking. Uh, I'm Tyler Malter. You can find me at TJMalt421. You can find John Reed at... On the Run, at John Reed Art. And you can find Sean Murphy at... Chuck Bonsai One. <clears throat> you can find us at tablenight.com. You can... Look us up on YouTube, Table Night Productions, Facebook.com slash Table Night, uh, and then on all podcast services. Until they go dead like magazines. <clears throat> yeah. Absolutely. We're the next in the trend of dead shit. If you subscribe to, to our magazine for one year, you get a free pot holder. It's what got, is it? Does uh, it say stuff or have pictures? No, or? it's got pictures of us, and we're burning because you're grabbing something hot. <laughs> hot, yeah. And it <laughs> says, <laughs> ouch. Ah! Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, well, we will see you next week. Bye. It burns. Hypothetically Speaking is a Table Night production. I can't believe those assholes paid me $5 just for that.